Today I'm going to do a little video about cement colors. I just happen to be cleaning the garage out. I got all this stuff laying around. Every year I go through the garage I throw everything out that I don't use. So as a mason, when I go out on a job, sometimes I have to match cement colors. But personally, when someone asks me to come and they want a certain color on a stucco or a plaster, I'll tell them there's only two colors I'll do. One is regular cement or I'll do white cement. And the reason is that's the only two colors that basically are basic and stays the same. Everything else fades. Now when you're in a masonry trade like I am, I am not a plaster guy, that's a whole different it's uh, like the difference between uh, a foot doctor and a dentist. It's just totally two different things but even though they both kind of come together I'm looking at the brick and the stone and the masonry side but I do do stucco and if I do stucco just like Henry Ford said back in the 20s and the 30s when he was making a Model A he said you could have any color car you want as long as it's black and I basically do the same thing I'll say I'll do any kind of stucco you want or I'll fix your foundation as long as it's two colors it's either white or it's regular cement and that is because I know I could go back and fix it. But if I do it with different colors, they're going to fade and I go back a year or two and there's a crack or something, I can't match it. So this video is just going to give you a little basics on what happens. And I'm going to turn you to other videos so you'll know. So the first cement I'm going to look at is uh, black cement. That's the color of it. And... Uh, shouldn't be sticking my hands in there. That's what it looks like when you put it on, when it dries. But this is what it looks like when it fades. So see how it faded here? That was the original color like that. I just did a video on that. It's called uh, matching uh, or relaying brick above a garage door and matching cement joints. Now they tell you in that you have to use lime products when you're laying brick. Now, and the lime product should be softer than the brick. Now, this is what happens in Pennsylvania when you use just regular mortar without Portland. Uh, it's a typical example. See, it all dissipates and falls out. Mortar and lime doesn't work. You have to add Portland to it in Pennsylvania, my opinion. Now, here's what happens. Where I live up in the mountains of Pennsylvania, uh, it's 35 degrees in the winter during the daytime and it's 20 degrees during the day and this gets wet it was close to the ground it gets wet it gets in there and it breaks it all apart and it's no good that's why personally I always have to add Portland and I don't like using dyes now they say oh well you have to use it softer than the brick or the brick will fall apart well, you know, if you're going to use this brick, that's what's going to happen. So, throw the brick away, get new brick, add a little Portland, and you're fine. That's why my videos is uh, how I do it. Now, you go to a different area, maybe down to Philly or New York, different weather. It's going to hold up different. In Florida, it's going to hold up different. You always got to ask the local guys. Now, this is white Portland cement. And uh, when I use it, I have no problem using white because white is white and that's the end of it. And when I mix it, this is a, a silica sand. It's white. So you got white and white. You never have a problem. And that's the way I always used to do it. And then I went and I start using in a finished coat stucco for certain stucco jobs. Now, the same thing. Anytime I'm going to do... Uh, a job in Pennsylvania, I always use mortar and I mix the Portland in it because white comes with Portland mixed into it. And this is right here. Uh, if you remember me cutting this out as a sample, that was on my video, How I Do Stucco Part 3. And then I did one like this and I used this stucco mix and that was How I Do Stucco Part 4. But that's why I use white. I also did one called uh, Painting with Portland, Whitewash, and uh, Bonding. Because 
and I'll show you how I'll go around and I'll paint with Portland. I could always match what I matched. It's a safe way for me to do things. That's why I always say how I do it. You know? We have another cement here. See, it's a, it's a colored cement too. It's like a buff cement. The point is about it is if you're going to do brickwork or something, you could always go buy a colored cement. And you can buy it in this form. You just mix it with your sand, two to one. Sometimes like the stucco, you can get it with uh, all mixed in one. And, and you could use it. That's fine. Now we get into these kind of colors anymore. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or something and, and buy cement colors if you want. Cement colors are great on the inside of a house, but when you get on the outside of a house, it's going to fade. There's a lot of companies that make uh, different colors. This one's called Lime Proof. It's like a yellow. Uh, here's another one. This is red. Uh, my dad loves these colors. Red. I'm not a color guy. My whole thing is is right here we have regular cement. This is regular cement. This is type S mortar. And type S mortar is what they did is they took regular mortar and they added Portland to it. That's the best way I could describe it. Uh, and that makes it stronger. For That's what I use for brick. Now you could see in my whole videos that I approach a lot of different jobs a lot of different ways. And if you go to how I fix my concrete step videos, you'll see me using regular Portland cement or you'll see me uh, using different type of cement doll or something. And then I'll go and I'll buy a paint and I'll paint it. Because cement isn't waterproof. I don't care what they tell you. You never see them use mortar in, in a concrete pool. They use always Portland. And, you have, and what I do with steps is I paint it and then you might have to go over it every year and paint it. And it works out good. I also do it on stucco. I have a, another video. Sometimes I'll stay, save a video for a whole year before I put it on YouTube to make sure it came out exactly the way I wanted it. So I'm a big, I'd rather use paint. You have to take your options. You have to look at it and decide what you want to do. Well, here I am at my dad's garden right here. You're going to see nothing but dirt. And if you want to uh, fix a wall there's a little piece of a stone wall and it's dirty I'm going to show you that in the video you you put some fresh cement down and these are the videos that you look at you put this fresh cement down and then you throw the other dirt on top and that stains it to make it look like the original it's just a little trick constantly used I learned it from the old timers and uh, I want to turn that on to you also that's basically the end of the video. Another reason I don't like to uh, do cement colors is I've got some color blindness problems. And I can never be a pilot because I have problems with reds and, and greens. So, this is the way I approach it. I like to do things that I'm always sure of and things that work for me. Other guys, they approach a little different and they win with what they do. I win with what I do and I just stay that way. So, the whole video is it gives you some food for thought, some different ideas and different options, and then you run with the ball. So I hope I said something that makes some sense that will help you out.